So today we have uh, just inaugurated the SIROTH 2024. SIROTH stands for the Symposium of Applied Aerodynamics and Aerospace Vehicle Design uh, aspect. So this is sponsored by Vikrasaravai Space Center along with other centers and units of ISRO. Uh, so we bring together all the aerodynamics internal specialist uh, and experimental aerodynamist including academy etc in this uh, SIROTH 2024. Primarily discussing uh, issues related to fly through air. So any aerodynamic vehicle fly through air, it interacts with air and then creates thermal issues, load issues, dynamic issues uh, and we need to characterize it very well before we, uh, if you have to design a rocket. So it, it involves two steps. One is uh, testing it through some test facilities called internal facilities where you actually simulate the flight condition. Second is doing computers using software and codes to synthesize it and model it. So both these skills are needed, they are complementary. So we have experts from both areas who discuss this and create better understanding and our Indian capability for that. Another milestone happened with ISR. How is the C20 cryogenic engine completed its mission? Can you please tell me more about it? No, that just an announcement. It was just one hour before also it was posted. The, but the test happened a few days back, but we posted it now only. It's a test of the CE20 engine in ambient condition. Uh, we, when you have to test an engine, actually in full-scale uh, nozzle, we need to test only in a vacuum condition. The nozzles are designed to test in vacuum. So when you test in air, we have to have a separate system. Just now, uh, Director IPRC was speaking about it in the, in the while he addressed it. So we have a special uh, nozzle uh, injection system to handle the flow separation. We also tested something called multi-element igniter to test it uh, to so as to check whether it can be started multiple times. So essentially, we are moving towards using the engine for restart capability in flight. Uh, so India's uh, first human space uh, flight mission weekend is uh, going to be getting closer to the reality. Yesterday, I saw a Navy and uh, uh, done a sea trials for safety of the astronauts. So can you please tell me more? No, that is a sequence of many trials. So we need to conduct many more trials with the ships because ships, each ship has a different way of uh, recovering and handling. So this was uh, a, a trial with a well deck de a ship which, which has an under, underpass where the water will go inside a small cavity. So the crew model can enter there and then you can lift it up better than actually using a cantilevered crane to lift it up. So this trial was done so as to validate the whole procedure. Aditya L1 just now, you know, we, one publication has come out uh, looking at the last July or August uh, eruption and uh, some scientific outcome out of it, what what new things are found out after on the CME. That is a publication that has come out. A lot of things are happening, so we will hear with more, more news that is coming out.